everybody welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is tiffany i am back after another little break <laughs> if you guys don't know i am currently pregnant um actually just about seven and a half months pregnant so it's been really hard to find the motivation to film lately i've been wanting to film so much and have all these ideas and then when it comes time to really do anything i'm just overwhelmed with exhaustion shortness of breath and just wanting to rest and nest in my free time but i am back with one of my favorite types of videos to film and that is a disney world haul we just got back from disney world um, just a few days ago we had a, a wonderful trip it was a pretty last minute trip um, for our family. Usually we plan trips at least a year out, um, but my husband and I wanted to take a little family vacation, um, the three of us, myself, my husband, and our five-year-old daughter before um, the arrival of our son. And for the first time ever, we drove. <laughs> um, we, uh, I wasn't comfortable flying um, this late in my pregnancy. Um, I'm already not a very good flyer and flying as pregnant as I was just stopped. sounded like a nightmare. So we decided to drive. So it was, um, it's like 18 hours to drive to Florida. We split it up between two days, um, two days to get there, two days to get back. Um, I was a little nervous to go as pregnant as I was, um, but I learned a lot and still managed to have a very good time. I was thinking about maybe filming a video on my experience going to Disney World pregnant, uh, going to Disney in your third trimester. Um, I have a lot of tips and advice. Um, so let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in um, because it definitely was very, very different to go as pregnant as I was. Um, but nonetheless, we had a great time. We stayed at Port Orleans Riverside, which we've stayed at before. Very, very nice hotel. We really enjoy staying there. Um, and I have so much stuff here to show you. Um, I also have a couple of non-Disney things that I bought um, while at Disney Springs that I will show you. Um, yeah, a lot of fun stuff to show you. Tons and tons of stuff. Get comfortable. I'm like out of breath already, so don't mind my shortness of breath, but grab a drink. I have my coffee here. And um, yeah, can't wait to show you all this fun stuff that we got. So I'm gonna start off with the sort of non-Disney merch items that I have in front of me. First thing that I got was a new Starbucks cup. Um, I actually bought this on our way to Disney. I think I purchased this in Kentucky, which is one of the states that we drove through to get to Orlando. But I just loved this orange color. I, clearly, I don't need any more Starbucks cups. I have a cabinet full of them, but I just thought this was so pretty. So I picked that up on our road trip. While we were at Disney Springs, I was walking to get a dessert from the bakery and I can never pronounce the name, but I think it's Amaretz. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a cute little French bakery that I always see all the Disney bloggers talking about. So I was making my way over there to pick up some cakes and um, passed by the Lululemon that is in Disney Springs and popped in there because I remember there was one thing that I wanted to pick up from there that I've been wanting and just keep forgetting to order it online. So I picked up this belt bag from Lululemon. I think this is called the Every Everywhere Bag or Everyday Bag. I'll have it linked down below. I ended up grabbing it in black. I think they had it in like a silver gray color. You can wear this on your waist as a fanny pack. Um, since I have a big belly, um, currently I have been wearing it as a sling bag. I wore this all throughout our trip to Disney World into the parks. I'm so surprised at how much I like this bag because it just looks like nothing fancy, but it fits actually quite a lot. Um, I just have a few random things in here because I ran to Target this morning. Um, but I was able to carry everything that I need into the parks for me. I did not carry a backpack on this trip just with all my extra weight that I'm carrying around in the heat. I just did not want to carry a backpack. So this was basically all, all I carried and it worked out great. Um, I love that it has this back um, pocket here that sits close to your body. So that's where I kept my wallet and my money a majority of the time. But yes, love this. I'm so glad I popped in there. My daughter 
um, did the pick a pearl experience at Disney Springs. This is something that my husband and I have done together since we've been going to Disney. We've always done the pick a pearl. My, my husband used to do it constantly as a kid and we've done it once with our daughter. We actually did it at the Japan Pavilion. Um, I think a couple years ago where you pick an oyster and then they open it and you get a little pearl in there and typically we've just kept the pearls we've never um like made jewelry out of them we just sort of collect them my husband wanted to have my daughter make a special piece of jewelry so we did the experience where she picked the oyster and opened it and she loved it she thought it was so fun and we ended up getting her a rose gold chain and they attach the pearl i don't know if you're gonna be able to see to a little crown which was sort of the closest like disney themed <laughs> jewelry piece we could find um but so sweet my daughter's like she's gonna be six soon she's really into jewelry and girly things so this is her first like super nice piece of jewelry because it's i'm not gonna lie it's not the it, it it's an expense to actually create and make a jewelry piece out of your pearl but she really enjoyed the experience i have a cute little picture i'll pop in here of her um, when she got it but yeah got that from disney springs i of course waited in the obscenely long line at gideon's bakery at disney springs because i have been craving a peanut butter cold brew since i've been pregnant i've been trying to make them at home and i can make them pretty good but they're they're definitely not the same. Um, so I stood in line for an hour in the blazing heat, but got into Gideon's and we bought three cookies, which we still have here. Um, they're in the freezer and we're gonna enjoy those as the months go on because you can actually freeze Gideon's cookies for six months. Just a little tidbit. Um, and I ended up getting my cold brew, it was amazing. But while we were in there, I um, picked up some non-edible items. My husband ended up getting two of the decals which i will insert a clip here of what those look like he bought those for his snowboard i believe and then he also got the little gideon's pin because he really likes the black cat logo um, but i don't know what he did with that so i will insert a clip of it and then for me when we were at disney springs in october i smelled this candle and i loved it and i kind of regretted not getting it so while we were there i said you know what get it since you don't have to fly with it, it'll be a little bit easier. So I picked up one of the Gideon's candles. There were two available. I can't remember what the other scent was, but this is the coffee cake cookie candle. And it smells amazing. It smells just like the bakery when you walk in there. I firstly have here a box of Disney World chocolate truffles. So I picked this up. This is the 50th anniversary. Comes with chocolate truffles and solid chocolate I don't know I just wanted it so I grabbed it lollipop that my daughter wanted I don't know how or when she's gonna eat this she probably forgot about it already I also picked up this tray from our hotel I saw this tray on our last couple trips and really regretted not getting it so cute it was $29.99 Again, I got this at our resort, but I, I saw it all over the place, everywhere, so I thought that was really pretty. It is a sort of metal tin, so I don't have to worry about it breaking. My husband picked up this frame for his mom. Um, it's just a simple, simple little frame, and we're going to put a picture of our daughter in there for her. But we did get some mugs while we were there. I didn't want to get any mugs because they're the exact images of the mugs we got on our last trip but by like the second day we were like we might as well just get the mugs and because they're nice to have by the pool or when you go to quick service um the only difference is the tops are a little different so they're shaped like mickey and you sort of lift them up um that's the only you know real difference between them next bag here um our daughter picked out one of these dolls that you see all over she ended up going with the aurora one i really like the packaging now where they come in the cardboard boxes my daughter was able to open this and take the doll out all by herself we didn't have to you know like typically when you buy barbies you have to like cut all these little things off but it was super easy for her to open all by herself and yeah it comes with a cute little cute little brush she got that and she played with it on the way home 
We also purchased this little place set for our daughter. It's called the Ariel's Grotto. We saw it on our last trip and meant to order it online as a surprise Christmas gift, but we couldn't find it online and just ended up only finding it like upcharged on other other websites. But we saw it while we were there in many places, so my husband bought it and she opened it literally immediately when we got home, so I don't have it to show you, but I will insert a picture of what it looks like. It's super cute, it's just like a little place that it goes with like the castle place sets and everything. While we were at Disney Springs, I ended up picking up one of these eye catcher reflective wind, wind spinners. I'm sure you guys have seen all the kiosks that sell these. I've seen them at Disney Springs, Epcot, and I may have seen them at Animal Kingdom as well. I've been meaning to buy one of these for years and just keep forgetting, keep putting it off. I ended up choosing the blue and gray castle, which just matches our house a little bit better. Um, so what you do is you just sort of bend it, um, bend it one way and then you bend it the other way and then the wind just kind of blows it around. Really, really pretty. Um, I just, I've always wanted one of these. And now that we have a little porch, I thought this was a perfect time. You guys all know if you've been watching me for a while, I have a thing for popcorn buckets. I love collecting popcorn buckets and novelty sippers from the Disney parks. If I especially if I see one that's limited edition or one that I really like, um, I just love collecting them. This strip, there weren't a ton that I saw that I wanted. I did manage to get a couple. <laughs> the first one I got was the new Skyliner popcorn bucket. I thought I had to get it because we rode the Skyliner for the first time in October. And for the 50th anniversary, I thought it was really cute. Um, it has Chip and Dale on one side, Mickey and Minnie on the other. And then on the other side, it says the world's most magical celebration while Disney World, Disney Skyliner. From Animal Kingdom, I ended up picking up this Minnie Mouse um, 50th celebration sipper. I thought it was the popcorn bucket from a distance, but it's actually a sipper. It does come with a strap so you can wear it around the parks. It has the little sipper in the back, and I think you just pour your drink in back here. Um, I didn't use it. Um, at all for that. I just want it as decor. We have a shelf in our kitchen where I keep all of our popcorn buckets and zippers. So this is where she's going to live. Um, but that was really cute. I heard that they had a Mickey, but I think they've been sold out of Mickey for a while. So all they had was Minnie everywhere I went, but still she's cute. So I got her. On the first day of our trip, when we arrived, we drove over to the Disney Character Warehouse in Orlando to check out that store. That was really fun. They had a lot of fun stuff like some Stony Clover and they had a lot of Dooney and Burks and just a lot of like holiday, Christmas and ha Halloween Disney stuff. Um, but I wanted to go there for this uh, in particular and I'm just so excited. They had a ton of them there. Um, but I ended up getting the Mickey Mummy popcorn bucket. When we were in Disney World in October, um, over our trip, they released this, I think only in Disney Springs. And we couldn't make it over there to get it. And the lines to get him were insanely long. Um, so weren't able to get our hands on him. But the Disney Character Warehouse has a ton of them. And they were only, I think it was $15.99 or $12.99. I can't, I can't remember. But... So happy to have him again he's gonna live on our little shelf with all the other popcorn buckets but he's so cute so very excited to get that my husband got a couple of shirts and i'm pretty jealous of these because i really like them too but i'm um, ended up firstly getting this one which i think is really cute i think this is one of their newer ones if i'm not mistaken but he got that one. He's been waiting for me to film this video so he can have his shirts. And then he got this one. He wanted this one on our last trip, but we could never find his size in it because I think it was new in October. So it was pretty hard to find any sizing in this, but we found his size. They had one left in our resort. So he snagged it, but I love this shirt. So those are his shirts. I ended up picking up one shirt for me. I saw this on Instagram and just knew this was one of the main souvenirs I wanted to get while we were there and we had to go 
to Hollywood Studios in order to get it because as far as I know this is the only place that you can get it and I can't remember the name of the store they sell it but I think it's the Majestic, Mickey's Majestic store right by um, Tower of Terror but this is what it looks like. I'm so excited. It says Mickey, Mickey's Birthday Land 1988. 1988 is actually my birth year. That's when I was born. And I just love this shirt. I love the colors. I love how vintage it looks. It looks like a shirt that would have come out in 1988 just with the coloring and the illustration. Um, I just think this is so fun. I ended up getting a medium because I have a big belly now. So it's a little bit bigger but i kind of wanted it oversized so i can wear it with biker shorts and leggings but pick that up again from hollywood studios we did get our dog a new collar i've been wanting to get her a new collar for the longest time because the one she's wearing she's had since we got her and it it's starting to look a little rough so in disney springs i looked over at all their pet stuff and saw this one and loved it so it has all of the disney dogs all around it so cute so it has percy um nana lady in the tram pluto just all of the dogs so got that for her from disney springs so i'm gonna put that on her as soon as i'm done filming this video my husband picked up this patch this was from the like their retro throwback collection really really cute fun collection especially if you love retro stuff um they have a bunch of different patches but he loves donald so he got this one we also picked up one of the muppet wishables and we ended up getting gonzo which is one of the characters we wanted you can either get miss piggy fozzy gonzo or sam eagle so got gonzo our daughter loves doing the wilderness explorer little sticker book at animal kingdom where you visit all the individual booths around the park and you get a sticker and you learn different things about the wilderness and animals and the environment our daughter loves doing that so while we were there she picked up this really cute little wilderness explorer set now it came in a really big box but she opened it in our room um, she wanted to play with it immediately but in it you get a bunch of fun little like disney up and wilderness items so you get like a little set of binoculars the little grape pin the little like scarf that he wears in the movie and this is like a little shovel it also came with the pendant a little flashlight compass and then um, I think this is like the little the little sash that he wears so got that really cute little set she played with it the whole time so if you have a child that loves the outdoors or exploring toys or just the movie up in general or Animal Kingdom, they'll love this little set. Uh, my daughter, like I said, played with it the whole time. I ended up picking up a magic band for myself. I have never purchased a magic band from Disney World. Typically I just get the like the standard solid color ones and I will buy decals to go on it from Etsy. I saw this one and just really liked it. Tiana is one of my favorite Disney princesses and they had this limited edition magic band for her so I thought I would grab it um, because I just thought it was so beautiful. So it comes this really pretty like the Tiana green color. It has her on one side and, and then on the other side it just has some flowers on there but it's so pretty. I just had to get it. It's this limited edition out of 3000 so I just decided what the hay and it comes in a beautiful box it was $39.99 and I picked this up from Magic Kingdom at the pin store in Frontierland they had a bunch of them there sorry about the outside noise um, my daughter loves these little pin packs um, so we have a bunch she got three of these kingdom cute ones she had already opened them but it'll take me forever to go through all of them but we can pick up three of those one of the haunted mansion she got a few of these like attraction boxes a few of these happiness is boxes and yeah they're just all <laughs> they're just all in here um various different um it's like the pirates ride 
She did also get one of the Coco pin boxes. Um, yeah, she did a little bit of pin trading too while we were there. It's Mama Coco. Um, yeah, oh, here's that Gideon's pin that my husband got. So it's a little Gideon's pin. Um, yeah, so those are all her little pins. She does have her own little pin board and she just loves collecting those pins. And I picked up a couple of resort pins. I do collect resort pins, especially if we've stayed at a particular resort. So I firstly grabbed the Saratoga Springs pin, which we stayed at Saratoga Springs in June of last year. And while we were there, they were completely sold out of all of their resort pins. I couldn't find them anywhere on Disney property. And trust me, I looked. So I was very happy to see that they had some at Disney Springs. So I grabbed that. And then while we were at our resort, I also grabbed this one which I already have a Port Orleans pin, but I think it's a Riverside only pin. I got it like a couple years ago. This is different. This actually says French Quarter on it. So I just thought I'd get it because I, I actually loved, loved the look of this one. So I grabbed those pins for me. Before our trip, we were watching some Tim Tracker videos. My daughter really enjoys watching Tim Tracker and he showed this in one of his videos. My daughter was like, I want to find that when we go. She found it at our resort um, on our first day and that is the turning red robe. My daughter's been wanting a bathrobe forever and as soon as she saw Tim Tracker show this, she was like, that's the robe that I want. It's super cute. Um, very, very nice quality has the little red tail on the back. She wore this actually around our resort. I'll insert a picture of her, but super, super cute. So we are getting down to the end. Um, this is probably one of the bigger purchases that I got. This was something that I knew that I wanted to get before we went into our trip. And since we were driving and I knew that this was gonna be heavy and fragile, I thought this was the perfect time to get it. I ended up grabbing the Epcot Spaceship Earth cookie jar. They did also have a Cinderella Castle cookie jar as well. And that one was really beautiful, but I ended up going with the Spaceship Earth just because it was bigger and could hold more. This was $59.99. I think the castle was the same price. I saw way more of the Spaceship Earth ones on Disney property than the castle version, but yeah ended up getting this and I'm very excited about it. It's really beautiful too, just like the iridescence of it. Um, kind of has like a little shift of color to it when the light hits it. One of the evenings that we were in Disney World, we stopped at the Grand Floridian to just do some shopping. We were near the resort and thought we would go to the Basin White store, which my daughter loves that store. She ended up picking up some bath bombs in there, which is what we love getting for her when we go. And my husband, surprised me with this. This was very unexpected, um, but he had popped into the gift shop on the second level to ask them for a bag because we had popcorn that ripped. Um, and he saw this when he was in there and said that he just thought of me when he saw it, wanted to get it. And he grabbed me one of the um, limited edition designer dolls and they had different princesses that you could choose from but he knows tiana is one of my favorites and he reminded me um this is something that i forgot but he reminded me that princess and the frog was one of the first disney movies that him and i have ever watched together early when we were dating which i forgot about that but he reminded me so he ended up getting this for me this is what it looks like it's huge it's kind of hard to show everything in one shot you get like a little link um authenticity card that shows like the um the numbers this is 9149 out of the 9800 and then it has this little booklet as well which i think is just a little bit about the um the designer here is a close-up oh my god so her dress is so beautiful i love it now this is a doll that we are absolutely not opening <laughs> ever. This is, you know, strictly like a keepsake, but really, really sweet of him to surprise us for me because this is something that I would have looked at and admired, but probably never would have bought for myself because 
sometimes I have a hard time spending a lot of money on myself, but yeah, this was um, $129.99. And again, he picked this up from the Grand Floridian, but I know I saw them at Magic Kingdom as well, and they probably have them at Disney Springs World of Disney. The final things I have to show you are some Pandora purchases. I can't go to Disney, especially Magic Kingdom, without at least stopping into Pandora and seeing what they have. And I went in there because I wanted to buy a new, like a new bracelet. I bought one on our trip in October and the gentleman that was helping me, he was very, very helpful, but he ended up sort of talking me into, um, I can't remember the inches, like the size he recommended, but it ended up being too small. Like I can only get a couple charms on there. I know that Pandora bracelets stretch, but even with stretch, I don't think I would be able to fit more than a couple couple charms on there so I wanted to get a bigger size so I ended up picking up one of the Disney Parks Pandora bracelets I'll show that to you and then I did end up getting some charms as well so the bracelet that I got was just their standard Disney Parks one it has the castle on there and it's sort of the standard like ball clasp closure. The first charm that I ended up getting was this one. I think she said this was one of their Mother's Day, um, Mother's Day charms. I will insert close-ups if I can't get um, a good clip of this, but it has Minnie Mouse on there and then it says um, best mom ever and then it does have some like little flowers on the back of it. Really, really pretty. And then they did have a set of two charms that were a like limited edition flower and garden festival set. So I ended up getting the set. You can only buy these as a set. You can't buy them individually. I really wanted one in particular. So in order to get it, I had to buy the set, but um, I wanted the orange bird charm. So this is what it looks like. And then it does come with the Farmer Mickey charm as well. And he's all in his farmer gear, which is what he wears for the flower and garden. On the back of his charm, you can see it just has some daisies on there. And then on the back of the orange bird, it says Epcot Flower and Garden Festival 2022. So yeah, those were my little hand Dora purchases. So that is everything you guys. This is everything that we purchased on our recent Walt Disney World vacation. I know that was probably really really long. A lot of stuff to show you and it took me a much longer to film this video because I had to stop to catch my breath many times. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what your favorite item was that I shared down below and if you are going to Disney World let me know when your countdown or what your countdown is. Like I said I don't know how many videos I'm gonna be able to film before I give birth, but I do have a couple in mind that I'm hoping to be able to get done before that time. But if I don't see you guys before then, I hope you have a wonderful summer. If you wanna keep up with me daily, I will leave my Disney Instagram and TikTok down below. I have all the highlights from not only this past trip, but all of our other trips saved on my Disney Instagram. And then of course I have our little Disney TikToks that we make while we were in Disney World. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and um, I'll talk to all of you later. Bye.